All right, hey everybody. <laughs> hey um, everyone. Welcome to Days with Heart. <coughs> um, Brian and Leanne here, and yes. we are still on our um, yes. makeshift staycation kind of whatever this is. I don't know uh, our co- <laughs> our COVID 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 COVIDcation feeling COVID <laughs> feeling oh, no, wait. feeling California. Feeling COVID-cation. COVID but, yeah, COVID. Feeling COVID-19 cation. There you go. That, that's, that's. Feeling COVID-19 cation. Right out chili peppers, y'all. Obviously, he doesn't um, make a living singing. No, I don't. If you I You look did. really nice today. Oh, thank you. You look, so really you look cute. cute. It's thank very you. hot. It's it is humid. very hot this week. Um, it's, don't know where this temperature came from. It's normally not this hot at the yeah. end of August. Yeah. So it's really hot this week. Yeah. And it's, so we it's, have. And it's overcast and it wants a storm. And I don't know. So, anyways, what are we. So. We have made these great, refreshing cocktails. Yes, and they are helping. Oh, my gosh. This is... I <laughs> they are didn't helping. know how to um, think how this was going to turn out. I don't drink vodka a lot, and um, I wasn't sure what to what to think about it when, when we... When I, but the bottle was pretty. Oh, it's a sexy bottle. We'll get to pretty. that. And so, yes, yes we'll get and to the, it. And the, yeah, the Kettle presentation one. is... Kettle One, one website is, is like really so are, amazing this is photography. The Kettle One Botanicals. Yes. And it's a vodka that's distilled with botanicals. And so, in this particular case, this is the cucumber mint. Yes. I don't and know if you could. I but we really are going to get like to that. It. Yes. It is refreshing. You do mix it with a little bit of club soda. Um, yeah. But. I, we're gonna when we go inside, we'll try we'll it show straight you, yeah. too, because I want to try it straight just to see like maybe how it would be in a martini. Yeah, we kind of we, we're this is the first time we're trying this particular product. We've been we we made we mix up a couple glasses and we're 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 pretty happy with it. We're pretty confident. So like, we're, we, but I do want to yeah. try it straight when we go inside yeah. because I'd like to see what it tastes like straight. But um, no, this is very light and refreshing. And the website said it has like 40% fewer calories than a glass of wine. And it's very light, like I said, it's very light and refreshing on a hot day. Yes. And I love how they recommended to put it in wine glasses. Yes. And so this is, um, and it, it's uh, the Kettle One Botanicals, like I said, the cucumber and mint, and then uh, a couple ounces of club soda and ice. Yes. And it just makes it's a sexy cocktail 1. drink. 1.5 ounces of the Kettle One and then three ounces three of, of the club soda plus ish ounces yes of the club soda depending on like how watered down you want it and, and and all that or you're like kind of what your what your your speed is um but i like it it's light and refreshing <clears throat> yeah and, it's um, yeah because it's hot and it's the, i like that it's lower calories it's i think it's 73 calories for the one and a half ounces and um they have different flavors i think there's a great Fruit rose and a mm-hmm. um, the other one is a orange blossom grapefruit. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want anything overly flowery, so that's why we got this one. And we definitely were kind of like we like cucumber and mint, so I think maybe. Yeah. That's, and I think this is, I think this is kind of like this is definitely an adult drink. Mm-hmm. This is definitely kind of like a little, um, you know. Yeah, all around cocktail I'm seeing. Yeah, it's really sexy, and yeah. um, I do like that the um, it's a family-owned business, and they got their start in 1691 in near Rotterdam, Holland. Not the Russia. No, not Russia. They're not the most. They're not Russian. The Dutch. gas can vodka. No. Okay. <laughs> so they're like. And then they moved like to Baltimore. Snooty vodka makers. They're, they're not vodka. Russian army vodka makers. And then they, they okay. moved to um, the States in Baltimore in, the, in 1902, and then 1983 is when they made Kettle One. Yeah. So the short synopsis and, of this family-owned business. And we, so we, neither one of us are big vodka drinkers. Um, we, we like our vodka, and we like our martinis and all that, but we, 
Not, we're not really vodka people. We definitely drink more wine than we do hards, and you like rum, I like whiskey. Yeah, and we normally drink Grey Goose. We do like kettle wine, but we, and but we like this sky. might start changing our mind. Yes, we like sky. sky. Yes, yes. But I do like this because it's very light and refreshing, and yes. I do like it as a cocktail versus as a straight vodka. Yeah. So, um, but I will try it as a straight vodka when we go inside, but, um... Yeah, I really, yeah. so far, so good. It's like, it's a really, and it's sexy. You look it's good. Really yeah, it's glass. kind of, yes, it's, it's good. I, I know when it's full, it's even sexier. Yeah. But, you know. So we're going to um, pause for a second so we can go into the kitchen. Yes. And we're going to show you how to make a sexy little cocktail. And Yes, and a little bit of, uh, just like a suggestion on what you can serve with it. Um, and, and, and we'll get back to that, but this thing can go with anything, but I'll, I'll just like whip up something really quick. Um, that like might be an idea. Yeah. So um, so we'll be back in just a second when yes. we go into the kitchen and come into our kitchen with us. Come into our kitchen. Come, come <laughs> into the kitchen. Oh, I'm on? <laughs> yes, oh, on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a Wednesday. I got to turn this backlight on. So we're back. That's and better. We're, we're going to mix these drinks. Um, how's everybody doing? We Here we are. Like, I don't know. Just again. Day bazillion and 55. Um, I don't even yeah. know what day of the week it is anymore. Yeah, it's tough. Um, I think it's Saturday. I work, we work, and then there's stuff around the house all the time, and it's just, oh, yeah, it's tough. But, that's but all the right. best part of our day is making videos for you guys because yes. we love. We love to cook and we love to eat and we love to drink and so we want to share that yes. with you. And I think that's why and, and 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 that's why we work hard is right everybody we work hard because we want to have these self experiences first cuz we are the self and so we want to have these self experiences with you know like great drinks and great food and then and then we, and then like the, 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 the ultimate of, of the self experiences is being able to share it with others, with your closest, especially the ones you love family and friends and significant others and possible significant others and whatever is going on. You know, that's why we, or people you love to hate. Yeah, sometimes too. Yeah, you're like, oh, look at this, and they're like, I hate that person even more. But, you know, that, that's why. That's you or know, people that love to hate you. There that's you go. why we write, and that's why we we make art and and paint and 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 we or we cook or whatever maybe our our passion is. That's why we do it. We do it for the self. It gets out our our the things in our mind and centers us, and then we get the opportunity to. Uh, share it with with others and and and, that, and that's what and that's why we're here. That's why you're here That's why we're all here. Um, so we're gonna get through this. It's just it's rough um, But you know nothing like some great alcohol to Just numb the pain. No, I joke you but to just try to you know And you get that quiet moment like you just saw where we're sitting out there and we get to sit down and relax and just unwind so Without further ado, let's just get into it. I don't, my throat's dry. So, so I do want to talk about the vodka itself a little bit because I actually, like I said outside, I am not much of a vodka drinker, vodka, vodka. drinker, but I do <coughs> like this. It's a light, refreshing. Even yes, when you sip smooth. it on its own, it was very smooth, Strong, but smooth. And you could definitely smell the hint of the cucumber and yes. the mint in there. Yes. Which kind of like brightens it. It it elevates it. It's not just your typical vodka smell. Yes. And, and it, so it elevates it. You know, it's, well, we'll just go ahead. But so, and then why don't we show you, like, this is how it pours. Let's go ahead and kind of. So this is how it pours. And it's kind of. Nice and thick, and of course, yeah, it's a typical vodka. You want to keep this. We keep ours in the, in the freezer. freezer. You can see it's got some ice on it. Start, it's getting frosty, but you know it's very thick. I mean, you know, look at that. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a um, full bodied vodka. Yeah. It it just has this great uh, clarity to it. Right off the nose is cucumber. 
you're undertoned. So right off the nose, cucumber, very fresh, crisp cucumber, undertoned by the vodka itself. And you can smell the mint too. I like that. Yeah, and the mint's there. It's very the subtle. The mint follows on last. So as it rolls back down past your tongue, you get that mint. So you get you get the you get the cucumber, the vodka, and then it starts to as it starts to fade away as you swallow and fades down, you get get hit with that mint, and it's very refreshing. Um, oh man, this would get you. Messy. You know, we may have to try to make some martinis with this. Yes. Yeah. Because today we're making vodka cocktails, but I think in the future we could try to make some kind of martini. Without a doubt. And it, we, this is so, again, like I said, we just, this, so we're just having these today. We, th this, this is our first time we bought this. The first this. time we had it, we, you know, we had it, we did have, we had a couple glasses and we're like, hey, you know, this is pretty good stuff. Um, but without a doubt, boy, if you could get like ice cold just like this, maybe just a, just an ounce or two pour, straight on its own even. If you're, yeah, it, it, it's a sipping vodka. It, it is. really it's is. It's a sipping vodka, but in a wine glass, you could, or you could do it in like a martini glass, or maybe some other kind of like fancy little. Well, glass. yeah, usually yeah. when they serve, they serve it in a short, so it would be um, like yeah, like our shorts that we have, maybe in the in the cupboard. They would yeah. the short glasses. Yeah, like, they would serve just like they do with whiskey, just something like that, or tequila, which. They would typically serve um, neat or on the rocks in that size of a glass. We will get back to you with what these are. These they're short. This, but this is another brand that I found quite. Oh, I'm accidentally. talking about the brand. Okay, yeah, I yeah. found quite accidentally. I can't a while remember. Ago, um, bought a bunch for my dad, and um, I love them so much that when we came home, we went ahead and bought two because it they have. They have the talls. They have the talls, the shorts. We'll we'll try. I will go out. I have a whole nother box in oh, the barn. Oh, that's right. We do. So I will get the brand. But they also make these. Oh, that's so spotty. So <laughs> we have we have very sorry. Hard, we've we're had very hard. We're sorry, TV land there. Um, but and they make these great basic beer. beers. The only glasses. thing I don't yeah. like about the beer glasses is that they're sixteen ounce and a typical. Yes. Bottle is 12, so it doesn't fill all the way to the top. But. Yes. So here's the thing with this is like what, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna mix up two drinks now. And um, and our point on the glasses is you don't have to spend twenty dollars a glass to have quality no, glasses. All those glasses are inexpensive. I yeah. think they were probably I, like ten dollars for a six a uh, six pack. Twelve, I maybe fifteen dollars. Twenty five bucks for six each. Yeah, I can't remember it was so long it, ago. No, it's probably more like a dozen each because it's a big box. It, 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 you get a bunch of ton, those shorts. Yeah, I don't like remember. Bucks. Um, but yeah, and then of course IKEA glasses. I mean, oh, yeah, the yeah, wine glasses yeah. we have. Are IKEA amazing. glasses are great all around. So, so without for, yeah. So let's so well. So let's here. Let's do this. Let's let's um. I, Let me have some of that. Yeah, it looks good. This is a, this um, is such a great drink. I'm not much of a cocktail yeah. drinker, and this is really good. So, great thing about Kettle One, these mixed drinks, right? And as we all know, you probably all had vodka this and vodka that, and you know, and and, and you know, um, I'm trying to think of the other, uh, the Smirnoff has different flavors. Of is you don't have any mixing to do, very little mixing, and this is a very, again, a very easy drink and turns out a very sexy and sophisticated drink this is a drink for parties it is definitely a drink for dinner parties not like party parties no you think all so? parties if you want if you want this is so, winter's coming we get you get to dress up now because it's cooler and you can any party doesn't matter frat party Hollywood party. No, but yes, look, and you just like, <laughs> so there I was on Kilimanjaro, looking out over the sunset, <laughs> the lions roaring in the distance as I watched a herd of elephants in the far distance, beginning their great migration to their breeding grounds. Blah, 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 whatever, right? There I was, you know what I mean? So you get, it, but no, this is a very sophisticated drink. This is an art show drink. 
This is this it is, is an a, art show this drink. Is a meeting a date for the first time at mm -hmm. a bar drink sitting there. Yeah, sophisticated. You know, you can kind of you know be a thoughtful contemplation. You know, maybe you're texting something and that person shows up and like, oh, like hi, I'm so and so. What do you are you are you texting your girlfriend your or your boyfriend and you're like, no, I actually just I I was just kind of drinking this and I had this. And I was happened to look across the room and something hit me and I was just kind of trying to bang out a part of a poem that I came up. Oh my God, what about, oh, you write? You know, and, and so on. And there you go. But this is, I mean, it's silly. But no, this is a very sophisticated drink. This drink will carry you through many different atmospheres, many different levels of, of, of celebration. Um, I think effortless, effortlessly. Just like, as we had mentioned before, soda water, right? You don't drink. A great soda water. Mineral oh, water. Oh, mineral water. What are you drinking? Oh, it's it's Voss, uh, such and such, golden, whatever. I don't know. And then, you know, Oops. and, and, and it, it just gives you a, 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 a touch of class. And, and it makes, makes, it gives you a persona. And, and, I, and I think sometimes, like, you know, like people are, People always like people with class and, and, and are gravitated toward people who have great taste in clothes and, and, and drink and food and, and can kind of talk about things articulately. And this is, this is like, this is definitely an articulate drink. I mean, you, this is, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, what's that? but it can also be a very <laughs> articulate drink. So, all right, so let's get said, going. Here. I know, like, I'm just, okay, I'm babbling. So, uh, so what we're going to do and that's what is, we do, we babble. If so, you guys haven't figured that so out yet. What we're going to do is, again, no mixing. So, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and make up these two drinks, right? So, I am just going to start. With some ice, we are Leanne and I are ice people. We love lots of ice. Um, our water is so hard that we don't have our um, yes. ice machine hooked up to our water line because it would just be clogged. Yes, like if you're ever egg. wondering about that. Yes, and so we, we buy ice at the store and just put it in the basket just so that we have ice available. So the, the basic recipe calls for 1.5 ounces of botanical cucumber drink mix. So we are, this is about a full two ounce shot glass. Is that two or is it one? I don't know, but I, that's a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead. Cause I think I need to measure that out one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> These are a little coddle shot glass. Oh, and remember that coddle. one That one on your right there already had some vodka yeah. in it, so. And then, <laughs> that was gonna be strong. And then, yeah, that's gonna be strong. And then, <laughs> and then it calls for three ounces of soda water, which I'm not, well, you know, let's, let's we know that this is kind of like, let's just. Whoops. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah. Plus we get all that goodness in there. But, but we'll kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother measuring it out. But we're going to do this just on camera, just to kind of, I would, yeah, maybe a little dash, maybe a little dash, we'll, you know. We don't want to get start the night off too, too hammered, do we? I mean, sure. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Who are you okay. kidding? And then, okay. So then, this calls for <clears throat> like a, a slice of cucumber and um, a sprig of mint, right? So, um, you know. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the mint was kind of wimpy uh, at the store. Yes, unfortunately, um, uh, we're again the COVID thing. We're like a little bit. Uh, that's, that's kind of a little yucky. Um, not that one's actually not bad. So we're again. Yes, we got the COVID thing going on. Um, so like sometimes our stuff just isn't fantastic. Oh, it's uh, gonna rain. You can, yeah, we're starting. If you can get, you know, try to fluff it up a little. Hopefully. Um, but you just you just gonna stick that in there, and then we're, let's see, we're just now well, let's just use this one because it's I'm just cutting off the ends here to go, just that way because it looks a little maybe a little prettier. Um, and if you wanted to, I mean, you could like make that drink a double. 
Yeah. You know. This one's a <laughs> Yeah, these... Um, I don't know. You know, I'm going to on this one. I'm just going to... Cut the end off. Yeah, that one's kind of wimpy. This one, I'm just going to go ahead and... There you go. Stick it right in. And that might be better. Oh, right. I can smell that, man. Yeah. It's now, so awesome. Real quick, we're going to kind of not... We're not going to get up into this. So, we can cut cucumbers this way. Cool. Which I that's, do. that's all good. That's fine, right? Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, like, if you kind of just want to add just a little bit of pizzazz... And I and cut it as thin as you can. That one might be maybe a little too thin. Um, but, you know, cut them thin. Something like that. And cut it, the thinner you cut it... Um, the less um, of the rind that you have. Yes, and also it's skin. because because the, it allows... It allows, in this case, the alcohol to pass through oh, the very cucumbers good, very so good. it passes through right so you're it's drawing even more cucumber out right fresh right oh you, yeah you just Great flap idea. them in um you could do a thing on the side um but uh, but you know whatever this pretty. is what it calls for in the recipe book and so here's the thing is that and, and the reason why i like to cut them it just adds again <clears throat> stepping up your game is what I feel that it does. It steps up your game. People see that you put a little bit of effort into, a little more effort than normal into it. Um, and this is it. I mean, these are the drinks. That looks beautiful. This is it. Now, real quick. <clears throat> Sometimes you need a little you appetizer. You need a little snack. Yep. So, what goes great with vodka? Excuse me, pants are falling down. Uh, what goes great with vodka? Then pastrami and rye and bread. Rye bread. We have a, a rye pumpernickel pumpernickel mix. mixed bread, right? And um, you know, you're drinking. You want to have a little something. And again, you got that special person over. Let's Netflix and chill, and here you are, like, hey, would you like something to drink? You want some? Oh, I could use, like, I don't know, do you have, like, a, I don't know, just, like, a beer and, like, some chips? And you're like, I got that. And then, you know, you're in there again, you know, like, <laughs> And you're like, you know, and then there's, like, all this noise again and stuff. <laughs> and then, but what they don't know, right, is, is, um, you know, we'll just do a basic. What they don't know is you're kind of whipping up a little something. Right? So, you can maybe, you know, you can kind of, um, I'll do like a, kind of a, just to make it a little interesting. So that's grilled cheese, that's grilled pastrami and cheese, right? Grilled pastrami and cheese, we're using pastrami and um, uh, Swiss, Swiss cheese. cheese. Um, Swiss cheese. And just straight up, just the bread and a little bit of butter, and it's just been grilled. And and then all we're doing is we're just kind of making, we're just trying again, we're up in the game a little, you know. We kind of maybe want to skip uh, the ending of the movie or the ending of the video game and just kind of, you know, go to bigger and better things. Um, and there, and there you go. You just kind of, you can add a few chips. Um, I put this on a cutting board um, just to kind of make it kind of fancy. There you go. That looks cute, baby. Right. And then you've got, and this was the best. This one came out really nice. That's kind of a very pretty drink, pretty right there. And there you go. I um, I don't know, everyone. It's about as easy as it gets. Uh, and again, almost no effort. Anyone can make a grilled cheese sandwich. This just happens to be using, you know, like it's not just cheese, you're adding meat. Um, we'll add salami. We've done um, prosciutto. Um, you can, there's a lot of different Oh, that gruyere and uh, grilled zucchini is amazing. Yes, you could do, yes, you could do a grilled zucchini. Um, and, and here you have kind of a very <clears throat> simple, elegant, easy to make snack board and you're kind of getting that classy. Russian feel in there, right? You got the vodka, you got the pastrami, you got the, the rye bread. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just it. That's how you do it. All right. I don't know. Cool. So, so we're going to get you outside again. 
We're going to kind of do a final taste test with all of this. We're going to see how yes. everything goes. Yes, yes, and yes. And it is, it is, yes, it's 5.11, so it's definitely cocktail hour, um, definitely a little snack hour. Yep. Uh, we actually have a little soiree later. So virtual we soiree. Virtual yeah. soiree. And we will be drinking the Kettle One. This is what we'll be doing tonight. Um, and might actually be making out a couple more of these as well. All right. All right. Catch you outside, guys. All right. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. What's your name? I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Leanne. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice meeting you too. What do you think of this party so far? Oh, I love it. It's such a great little soiree. It is, isn't it? And these drinks are amazing. Yeah, I really love this. I've never had this drink before. Yeah, it's very light and refreshing. Yeah, I, this is a, my first time too. They're kind of really cool. That yeah, the guy nice. that's making drinks is pretty good. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, too. that's really good. Yeah, I guess he's a writer or something. Oh, is know. he? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Some like a vampire book and poems and stuff. But he's got some really cool stories. It's kind of like oh, well, that's guy's cool. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Yeah, he's certifiable, but that's all right. Well, cheers to this cheers party. Cheers to the party. Yes. We're back. Hey, did those ring? Not as much. I think it's a volume thing. So, as you... I think it's a volume thing. As you may... I think so, too. As you may have noticed, we... Freckles, shh. <laughs> our dogs. As you may have noticed... Um, Ring is a thing, right? So we um, we ring these glasses all the time. We love this; these really just have an unusual sound. And the other day when we did the when we did the martinis, yes. we noticed that it didn't it clunk just like it just now, clunk like that versus the cling that we normally have. And then last night when we were drinking beer, you know, in the in the tall glasses, same thing. And I was wondering if it was a volume thing, and so maybe. Even though the drink is the same size you would normally have with a glass of wine, yes. maybe because there's fruit, you know, there's uh, cucumber and mint and then the ice. Yes. So it's a vault, maybe it's I a might, volume. I'm thing. wondering if the ice, because, you know, when you have wine, there's no ice in it, generally. And it, but it, it will, but we don't put a lot of ice in the white or the rosé if the rosé needs to get, if yeah. you want it colder. So I don't know. But if I something's think, going on there. Maybe I, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's just the one guy. The vodka. The vodka. So, what do we think? What do we think of this drink? I love I, it. Scale of one to ten. I'd say a nine. I, I'm not much of a cocktail drinker. I prefer neat. Well, I actually prefer on the rocks. Yeah. Um, I drink usually whiskey, occasionally rum, and we're getting, we're getting some thunder. thunder coming in here. <laughs> and so, but this is really I like cold. Yes. And so that's why I drink whiskey on the rocks. And I know there's people out there cringing because I put ice in my whiskey. Sorry, get over it. I like ice, uh, ice in my whiskey. I really like this. It's a nice, refreshing cocktail. Yes, definitely. I do yes. like that um, they suggested to serve it in the wine glasses. I think yes, it looks I, a little sexier than the Yeah, rocks like glass. a lot of class, sexy. Yes, yes. And it makes do with something that you might have in your home. And it's a conversational, you know? oh, yes. what are you drinking? That's yes. very pretty, you know, because humans are attracted to visual, right? Yes. You know, that's why when you see food and you see uh, pretty flowers, you're attracted to the visual, right? Yes. Humans are visual people and humans are visual people. You know what I meant. Um, but um, I think because who puts a, this kind of a thing in a wine glass? Yeah. So I would definitely be like, oh, what are you drinking? So it's a conversation. Yeah, I think, it. yeah, I think, I, I definitely, I think that's just, that would be a great way to meet someone, I think. So, or someone to meet you. Like, they'd be like, what, this is interesting. What's going on here? What is that? And then once they try it, they're going to be like, wow. What do you think it tastes like with food? Because I don't know what you guys, but, you know, when you see somebody with a refreshing drink, they're like, oh, what are you having? Right? Because you don't know what you want to drink. And so we do have these little um, pastrami and Swiss little grilled cheese. Yeah, so if we just, yes. Mmm, yeah. the sandwich is really good. That works. That definitely works. Yes, without a doubt. I bet you this olive is going to be amazing. Yeah, it does because when I was looking at pairing a uh, food with vodka, um, it was like rye bread, pumpernickel bread, um, 
this Russian style potato salad, which I think I'm going to try to make. Uh, oh, it looks really good. I'm going to try to make it. But of course, uh, caviar, smoked yeah. fish, you know, but yes. we wanted something a little simple. And um, this is really good together. But I am going to try that Russian potato salad recipe. It looks really good. Yes. Another thing you can do is you can put a little sauerkraut on these as well and grilled cheese on, you know, the, on these grilled cheeses I that we made. I forgot to buy sauerkraut today. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10 for just outright sexiness. It's a, it's a sexy drink. I'm going to give it a 10 for outright flavor. It's a, it's a nice drink. You could get really screwed up on these, but because um, it's, it's a one of those drinks that you, you know like sneaks up on you. You can drink this all night long. So, ten for drinkable. I'm gonna give it yeah, a solid ten for flavor, and it goes with this idea for like a little snack with it. So it it goes with the pastrami and rye grilled cheese. So this is definitely it goes like a with, date night meal. It really yeah, is. Yes. Yes, it, it, it definitely goes with the olives and it definitely goes with the chips. I think any any party mix and and the more sophisticated the better. I'm gonna give this a ten for a sophistication drink too. This is mm. a very sophisticated drink. It's like a smoked Manhattan. You know, you give it a Manhattan, but if you get a smoked Manhattan, smoke it for five or ten, Sam, right? And you know what I mean? That's a, I I can't even tell you. It will We'll have to do something on that. I can't even tell you how many people have approached me on that at a bar or at parties. Well, a very high-end party that was capable of making those because that's a that's a whole other complex, very complex drink to make. But I can't even tell you like the the, the approaches that I've gotten with the smoke Manhattan. Um, mo and but but back to this, yeah. If no, you have a friend that you want to have over for dinner, and you want to show them how much you care about them and they do like they do like maybe vodka but they don't like wine and you want um to have a nice dinner but they don't drink wine which is not a thing i mean i don't have a problem with that but you want to have something nice yes you do you have a problem with people who don't drink wine <laughs> don't let her fool you if you don't drink wine i'm just joking <laughs> If you want to show someone, hey, you know, I understand that you like vodka. Let me have, let me show you something really sexy and, and something that's like a little romantic. Yes. Um, this is a romantic drink. And this, yeah, it is. And it's a very sexy drink. Oh. If you're afraid of like really cooking something um, fancy. Yeah. Or just don't want to cook something really fancy. Because like on a Saturday night, who the hell wants to do anything? When you're just going to watch movies, yeah. this is a great little yeah. meal. So and I'm gonna get the little individual yeah. cutting boards as your presentation, and it's really cute. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna give this a ten, all across the board. I'm giving it a ten. I'm and, actually thinking it's a ten too. And, I like the sophistication uh, although of I am not a fan of the grape, of the grapefruit kind of flavors, I want we to try are the going. Other ones. We are definitely going to try all the other two offerings. Um, I like these a lot. Just like we did with the Williams Sonoma uh, Clunster um, tequila, uh, te you know, margarita mixes. So, 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 stay tuned. We're definitely gonna try I really the other like mixes. It. So, I think where we're at is. I think for the other ones, we might want to try to make a martini out of them. Maybe I'm thinking a ten, um, and I'm giving a ten for the subtlety, the sexiness. The sophistication level of the drink. Um, this is a drink that's drinkable through a myriad of different types of parties, through a myriad of different events. This is, I think, this is a, I think, this is a, a good classic. And and I actually, uh, I'm going to change my rating to a ten. My gray hair is really showing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, side note, um, but <laughs> um, I am, I'm actually it's all gonna, gray peeps. It's all great. I'm going to change mine to a 10 and I'll tell you why. Most cocktails, I don't want to eat food with my cocktails. It's just too much. It's competing. <coughs> like, you know, I, I'm, I like dirty martinis, extra naughty, please. Um, and I'll drink other martinis and some other cocktails occasionally, but I don't eat food with them typically. This cocktail Goes well with food. Yes, so it's going to go. Gonna change it it's going to go good tonight too. That's for sure. I think it's going to change to a ten. So I think where we're at, ten. Yep. Sexy, sophisticated, 
easy. Very light, refreshing. Give it, give it. Oh, it just smells so give good. Give it a try. Um, and I don't know. We're going to get through all this. This kettle oil will definitely help us get through a lot. <laughs> so, I don't know. I would just say that maybe we just, just remember to, to love. Lust. And laugh. Be We're, kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Love each other. Yes. Who cares if they don't have the same opinion? Get your sexy you. on exactly. and fuck the world. That's just all I gotta say. Is like screw it. Don't worry. Yes, I said it. Fuck, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck the haters. Fuck it. Just do what Find you do. Find what brings you together. Yes. Versus what tears you apart. Yes, I agree. And on that note, we'd like to change. But oh, let's try one because. It's getting better. I just I didn't drink volume. enough, y'all. You know. it's the volume. Yes, it's the volume. It's all about, well, you know what they say. It's not the length. It's, it's the volume and maybe the density of the ingredients. It's not always the it? length. It's some of it's about the oh volume. Oh, my gosh. This is a PG episode supposed to be. Now it's PG-13. <laughs> we love you guys. Please subscribe. Ciao. Au revoir. We love you guys. Again, sexy. Yep. And get your sexy on and Bye. talk to you soon.